The current situation is looking pretty grim. Take this! Ah! Grenade! What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Getting started with Chrono Trigger tonight. Well, Chrono Trigger Plus. Which has been updated since I streamed it, apparently. Um, I don't think I can transfer my save file over. I might be able to, but there's no patch notes, so I don't know what's different. Maybe they just fixed the treasure chests that softlocked me? Um, weird. So, yeah, so I don't have that, but um, I'm just going to be streaming this and then Slay the Spire. And if you need to, if you need to go before then, lovely. I've changed um, aspect ratios. I was informed that this game was designed for 4-3, and I was streaming it in 8-7 um, originally. That was what it was just set on. And apparently, so someone named Akira sent me this. Square recognized that the 4-3 TV ratio flattened the image, so they intentionally drew larger sprites and tiles to be slightly thinner so they would appear as intended on a TV. So... So, so there you go. Hopefully, um, it still looks good. I mean, it always looks good. It's Chrono Trigger. Um, I'll explain where we are in the story in just a moment. I'm currently drinking a tea, or I haven't tried it yet, but it smells not good. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna like this one. It's called Pure Rub Rubiosa. Rubiosa? Ugh. Well, here we go. Nope. Nope. Alright. Well. That's the first bad one I've had that I really didn't like. Ugh. So, anyway. Ruby... Ryubus? It's an African plant rather than genuine tea. I love this stuff personally. Fair enough. Yeah, this this one's not good. So I'm gonna have to just deal with that. Oh wait, this is the soft lock box, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm actually going to move this tea over to the counter because it's it's I don't like the smell of it, and it's being very aggressively smelly. Um, yeah, this is not for me at all. <laughs> it's, it's aggressively smelly and terrible, and I don't want it. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I hope, uh, I hope you're into Chrono Trigger. So, we got back from the past to play the shitty- wait, what are we doing? Doesn't matter. Um, so we have returned from the past. We saved- we saved Queen Lean. We recovered Marl. Hmm, two-legged walking humanoid robots are virtually impossible to create. Oh, Chrono, hurry up and escort the princess to the castle. So we return. Luca is just chilling. Hi, Scott. And, um, so, we're gonna escort Marl back home. Basically, that's- that's really all we're- we're doing right now. So, you know, we got our back from the past, safe and sound, and I'm sure everything's gonna go great from here on out. All right, never mind. I was going to wait for them to get closer to each other so I could use Cyclone or something, but that's not happening. Yeah, I don't know if I would be streaming this right now if Dragon Quest didn't completely win me over. Like, you know how I am with RPGs. I need to space them out. Unless I play a really good one. Also, I'm thinking about 
finishing Dragon Quest on stream. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do that, but I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's been requested, and I don't know how much of it there is, but I basically did pretty much every major side boss, and I got most of the ultimate equipment. Dragon Quest's final boss will require a fully level 99 team. I heard about that, but I think that might be... That might be BS. Just in the sense that I've heard people say that they were able to do it without level 99. Someone said play Second and Setsu 3. So I'm waiting for Trials of Mana to come out in April, and then if... the, the remake, and if that's not good, then I'll just stream the original. So at some point, I will play that. I think I'll play it this year if the remake isn't good. But keep in mind, Denny, I'm also going to be playing Final Fantasy IX, uh, VII Remake and uh, several other games. I fixed my speaker problem, by the way. And I will explain. But let's do this first. Princess Nadia. Are you all right? Where have you been? I heard you abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Scoundrel. You're the one, huh? Kidnapping Princess Nadia. No, Kronos... Admit it! You confused her and tried to take over the throne! Terrorist! Stop it. Stop this at once! <laughs> what are you doing?! But Princess Nadia said to... Idiots! Detain him! Chrono! This is a fun... This is a fun part of the game. So you remember those things that happened on stream number one? Where I was specifically being very, very nice to Marl? Well... I'm the Chancellor, the Prosecutor! I'm the lawyer, Pierre. Members of the court, we now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with abducting Princess Nadia. And I, in the Senate. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps? Hang him upside down for a few years? Or shall we employ the guillotine? You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now let us begin. Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? I did. Just as suspected, the defendant deliberately tried to get near the princess. Hey. Ouch, that hurt. Wait, is that the wrong answer? Are you supposed to say Marl? Vinny, that's what you said in 2016. I don't want to know about 2016 anymore. <laughs> The princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little sideshow. Someone in chat said you cannot answer that one correctly. I, yeah, I believe so. Um, whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. And I have facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Objection. This can't have any relevance whatsoever to this case. Care to respond, Chancellor? 
Chrono's character is at the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. We have a witness, a little girl who will vouch for the character of the defendant. This nice man, he brought me my kitty. Thank you for being so kind. They dragged her ass all the way to this castle just for that. How about that? Doesn't this young man deserve a medal? Whew, looks like they're buying it. The issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. What about... Ransom? Chrono, her fortune did tempt you, did it not? No. Are you sure you really weren't tempted? Not at all. Well, that's enough. I have no more questions. It is evident that my client is a fine, noble young man. Your honor, the defense rests. If you eat the old man's lunch, he shows up and calls you a cock. And, uh, there's other stupid things you can do. Like, yeah, you can rush Marl and, you know, you can do- There are various things that you can do where they will call different witnesses to say that you're a jerk. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If he is innocent, sure, stand to the right. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. You can still win the trial if you're honest about stealing. Interesting. Not guilty. Oh yeah, it's all the same guy. It looks like they have large brains. More than that's their hair. They look like the brain creatures from Star Trek. Not guilty. Well, look at that. Look at that. Not guilty. Order in the court! A verdict has been reached. The verdict is... Not guilty! But the fact remains that even if he did not kidnap her, he ran off with her. Three days solitary confinement as punishment. Take him away! Of course. <laughs> now just a darn minute. Princess. That's enough, my dear. But, Father... All I asked was for you to behave like a princess. Even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about the events in town. We're leaving. Chrono. Like that music? This terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom! He has been found guilty and you must now carry out his sentence. So this is the monster who kidnapped the princess. The execution is three days away. Do not let him out of your sight! Execution? Strange. But I don't seem to recall hearing anything about an execution. What?! How dare you question me! The paperwork's probably just been held up in the system! Uh, understood, sir. Guards! <laughs> they have, like, old-school knights. Take the prisoner away! in this advanced kingdom. Well, there's kind of a reason. Anyway, this whole area is a direct result of what changed in the past. This whole wing of the castle was not here. But then Chrono and Pals went back in the past, 600 AD. They found the fake Chancellor. He established a justice system. You know, aka the court and the prison system here. I mean, maybe the, maybe this was here, I'm not sure. But, um, essentially, 
this exists because of what happened on the first stream of this game. That was a full day. Some sympathizers brought that stuff for you. You lousy felon. One ether. Wait the entire three days. Is this going faster than usual? Did I wait last time? See, now I'm asking about 2016. Jesus. I didn't wait last time, so we will wait this time. Oh, man, what a hypocrite I am. Don't talk to me about 2016, then I ask about 2016. And finally, the day has arrived. I'm pretty sure they changed that for the plus version. We're here to take you to your place of execution. Come along. Someone said, Vinny, is this a The Wall reference? If you listen to the trial on Pink Floyd's The Wall, it actually does sound like kind of more than vaguely similar to the trial theme in this game. Good evening, worm, your honor. Fritz. Someone said, why is Chrono dying? Isn't he the protagonist? Yeah, this was a, a game that was very ahead of its time. We've sharpened up the guillotine. Any last It kills its main protagonist in the first two and a half hours. Any last words? Oh no, I've come to save you! Who the heck are you? Get out of my way! Take five, you mugs! <laughs> this fucking blows them up! So what do you think of my Zonker 38? Pretty cool, huh? Let's blow this joint! Now you see why Luca is the best. He passed out. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, well the Zonker. It's a zonker, so yes. Usually you do this part with Chrono alone. I think I've only ever done this once, where you actually wait for the trial, uh, the execution. You're a lifesaver. I'm Fritz. My dad runs a store in Truce Village. Stop by if you're in the area. <laughs> what was that slide, Chrono? I'm going back to the other cells. The prisoners escape. I'm going back so we can, uh, I can get the items. Um, I feel like waiting for Luca makes more sense than them leaving you with your weapon. True, and they do leave you with your weapon. When you escape, you actually, um, you trick a guard into going into your cell. Because they're dummy thick. I mean, look at their our fucking armor. They're, they're massive. And then you just have your sword. It's no problem.
uh, one thing I do like about escaping, I mean, I like the idea of Chrono escaping alone, it's kind of cool, but I like the, um, the creepiness of just, like, the weird ambient noises while you're doing all this, and then there's, like, suddenly a ghost, and, and then a fucking skeleton comes back to life, it's, it's weird. I love that Luca has a hammer. What, what is that? It's a hammer from... what sport? Blue shield? Wasn't, weren't these called something weird? Like Yodo... Yodo D's or something? It's a croquet. Yes, it's a croquet weapon. Yo, yo. I think, um, Yodo D's are later in the game. Oh, good. So, I should know how to defeat these things by now. <laughs> Which is to just wait for them to, yeah, do that. Mr. Game & Watch is behind every shield. Yodo D, see? What a stupid- I've always remembered that name, it's such a dumb name. I kind of love it. Ah. Well, we can get there. It's a play on Yo Dude. Someone said, waiting anxiously for the yes indeed part. Oh, I love that part. That's my favorite episode. When the Vine Sauce Funny Streamer Pizza Man gets to yes indeed and then talks about why he likes it. A lot of good stuff in here. I, again, I love... So you're the escaped con. I love that they fucking have, like, undertakers. They employ, like, old-timey knights and undertakers that probably were here since the 16... The, uh, sorry, the 600s. Gaolers. G A O L E R S. Pronounced jailers? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pay me enough for this. Vinny, you said the same thing in 2016. Here we go again. Okay. Okay, you, you can't let me know unless I ask what happened in 2016. Otherwise, it's gonna drive me crazy and I'm gonna feel like an artificial human being. I can't... You can't let me know about it unless I specifically ask what happened. Vinny, you said that as well? Oh no. Stuck in a time loop. Yeah, I have my, uh, Chrono Trigger script right over here. I haven't updated it a whole lot. I've got some new memes that I added to the list. I, I put them in the margins. 
pretty sure you can stealth that dude, which I just completely failed to do. But some of these guards, like, it's one of the few places in the game that you can sneak up behind them. And, uh, whack them in the head with your sword. Someone said, if you would have shuffled a bunch of paper when you said that, it would have been golden. You know, I looked for paper in my nearby area, and I don't have any. I mean, we human beings don't really use paper a whole lot anymore anyway, but I especially don't have any paper nearby. Dead person. Again, creepier without the music. Try something out here. Sprite zero. I mean, Luca is behind. Mm, never mind then. No! Chrono! Wrong one! Yo, dude! <laughs> wow! It really is yo, dude! I never even considered- years! Something new has been learned. Real life years. Someone said that's not in the script. I've escaped the time loop. You look at the McClanky. And you think about how delicious it would be if you boiled it. Eat gherkin. Well, again, this used to be called the load sword. Oh, if you want to know how I fixed my speaker problem, I ordered new speakers. I had a Dell soundbar that plugged into the, um, USB slot, and it was recognizing as a, um, as a different sound device entirely. So what I did was, I ordered, like, I, I don't have a lot of room, so a soundbar was, like, the only reasonable solution. In fact, the solution I've employed now still doesn't really fit on my desk all that great, but I got these speakers, 20 bucks, they're called, like, Pebble. I don't need anything crazy. I just needed something small, something that would fit. And, um, they do. And they're good. They're fine. I have better headphones than I need speakers. Let's, let's put it that way. And, uh, I just plug them in and they fucking work. They're great. Simple. Vinny, did you see... The new David Lynch short film on Netflix where he interrogates a monkey for 17 minutes. Literally watching that tonight. I heard about it. Top secret document has been left behind the floor. Care to read it? To the prison supervisor. Dragon Tank Owner's Manual. Someone said maybe some floor standing speakers are built into your wall. Um, you know what? Considered it. It would be awkward. And I have a, a very irregular setting. So it wouldn't be easy. Uh, the tank head repairs body damage. It contains a shield that prevents damage by lightning and fire. Unless the head can be defeated, the tank is unbeatable. I considered a number of options. Like, I was looking online for stuff that might fit. And, uh, I have a door in front of my computer that leads to water pressure. So it's- it's not an easy thing to just mount speakers in a way that they would sound good and not be behind monitors. But, um, the solution that I found was cheap, effective, and saves, uh, space.
Forward, Dragon Tank! Crush those rebels! I always love that background. Careful, you're gonna hurt Chrono. Someone said this is some pretty wonderful music. I really like, um... Yeah, I like this music, but it's not even close to the best boss battle theme. This game has several amazing boss themes, and this is good. But later on, there's some really fucking dope ones. Would this area be a good Smash Brothers stage? I think it would be cool, yeah. This would be, um, nice, amongst other Chrono Trigger locations. But, I also feel like, um, it would just be Bridge of Elton John again. Bring a revive. It's called Life Water. Oh, right, it is called Life Water. Yes. Yes. They changed the name of it. Forgot about that. Yeah, I was, um,. I was going for the wheels first, like a dumbass. I should have just went for the head the whole time. Also, they did make this a little harder, just by rebalancing the uh, distribution of experience points. So this could be... this could be beans. Chrono, you're attacking the head exclusively. Luca, you're on healing duty. It's funny, I think I pretty much always have a little bit of trouble with this boss. I always get, like, overconfident and cocky this early on. Stop repairing. Mm. That was quick. Or that was close, rather. Yes! Okay. Alright. I got this, chat. I got this. Double tech, probably. A little bit more. The double tech seems to be more energy efficient. The 
looking at that thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's... Now it should be a lot easier. It has lasers. Yes, they employ old-fashioned undertakers and dudes in rusty armor that look like Steiner. But it has lasers. This level would be good for Smash, because you could get the Dragon Tank out as a stage hazard. They got the Dragon Tank! Fix it quick, Lily! Don't fool yourselves into thinking you've gotten away with this. <laughs> I'd love that. They're escaping. We have no choice but to break through. You know, I hate to ruin the illusion, but and I do this probably every time I've ever fucking streamed this game, but... You know, they did the best they could. Stop! Princess Nadia. This is my friend. Show him your respect. But, but... Can't you take orders? Of course! Hold it right there! Oh, that's the Chancellor. Do as King Guardia the 33rd says! Father. Silence, Princess Nadia. The throne comes before your personal wishes. Wait, what? Just because I have a title doesn't mean I'm not a person. My name is Anakin. You pick up strange ideas venturing outside. I didn't pick up anything. It's called common sense. Princess Nadia! I despise you. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia! Come on, Chrono. Don't just stand there after them! Princess Nadia. Oh, by the way, did you try to get Chrono executed? N no There they are, don't lose them! No escape. Silence. It looks like a dead end. A gate. Ah, come on. But we don't know where it'll take us. Who cares? This place stinks anyway. Princess Nadia! This is completely irrational. Hurry, Chrono! Princess, move away from that hoodlum! And they died. They disappeared! Eek! <laughs> Ouch. Oh, there's no way the Chancellor can reach us here. But where are we? Civilization here seems so advanced. Like we're in another world.
Turns out this world fucking sucks. Also, notice anything different? A cult of Lavos? Excuse me? So, this is where we start seeing some pretty major differences in the, um... in the plus version. I, I gotta go there first. I've never seen this. I mean, again, it's not official. However, that particular sprite was official and was cut from the game. Is this the ruins of the castle? It's Guardia's Crest. What is it doing in a place like this? Can I handle these? Like, I have no idea if they're overpowered. They're a little overpowered for me right now. That, yep. Yep. This is a late game area. Usually RPGs don't put shit like this here for a reason, but um we'll just we'll just die, that's fine. But the future refused to change. Well, it's cool that this is here. Um, I don't know when the right time would be to even attempt that. But, um, whatever. This is new as well, this whole thing right here, whatever the fuck this is. Lab 64. Oh, that's cool. It's like poison. It's like sludge. Chronopolis vibes, a little bit. Um, yeah, I have no idea if the mobs are gonna be... ...anywhere near as powerful as the Cult of Lavos. The pixels are a little scrungy, but that's alright, that's alright. Merman? If that's instant death, then, yeah, then we're not supposed <laughs> yeah, we're not supposed to be here, either. Um, it would have been probably a good idea to gate this off with an item that you get later on. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I'm all for this... I knew what I was getting myself into when I played Chrono Trigger Plus. They just probably assumed that people would already know. Should have put this on an island. Agreed. We don't go to those places until later. Got any cash? You call this money? Oh well, I have some good stuff. Save money. It'll do you good, that's what I say. It's 
Um, Marl... I, I gotta buy one more. I was just gonna leave it, but... I don't want Marl dying. And I think, like I said, the difficulty's been slightly upped. So that's a distinct possibility. Let me, um... Let me sell this. I was- I watched, uh, some of Muppet Treasure Island. I made it, like, halfway through. So far, really good. Tim Curry is amazing. It's all good. A lot of Rizzo, too. Rizzo's- Rizzo's a lot of fun. Rizzo the Rat. Someone said they look like Dragon Ball characters. Boy, have I got news for you. Um... Akira Toriyama did the characters for this game. You'll find some food at Aris Dome to the northeast, but only if you get past Lab 16. Beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. Truce Dome? Never heard of it. This is Trandome. Kingdom? What are you talking about? If you're looking for food, you lose! This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. HP, MP restored. But you're still hungry. Yep. So this future kind of blows. Rat. That rat steals your items. Oh man. Octopod and Kumquat, everybody. Sorry, Octopuff. Right, Octopuff. Wrong thing. Wrong button. What version of this game would I recommend for a first-timer? DS or SNES? Uh, whatever is easiest for you to get. They're both good. They have their pros and cons. I think the DS version, some people like a lot better. Uh, I like the Super Nintendo version better. Just for the nostalgia of it. Uh, and also, I feel like the visuals fit the SNES version better. The Steam version's apparently very good, if you want to check that one out. And you get the cutscenes from PS1 done by Toriyama. Those are good. Would you like some making fuck bell tell? Yeah. Equip that on Chrono. I mean, sure. For at least one fight. Chrono, I think, gets more powerful when you do this. Yeah, Luca. Look at- look at that shit! Yes! I 
I mean, it's cool, the Berserker, but I like being able to choose which target I, I stick a samurai sword in. Favorite party lineup? Um, it would be a bit of a spoiler, but I like Frog and Chrono, and, um... I mean, they're all great, honestly. They're, every party composition is great. I'll answer that question by the end of the game. Uh, but yeah, Frog is my favorite character in this game, I would say. So, usually Frog, throw in some Ayla, Robo, and then you could add Luca, and then Marl. <laughs> it's a tough question, man. Who's my favorite character of all time? Like, in any video game? Dolphy! Key Thick? No, not that one. Ah, uh, shit. That's a tough question. I mean, Frog is, is kind of up there. I just, I, I love Sir Froggy. He's great. I like frogs in general. Snake is pretty great. Big, yeah, Solid Snake is pretty great. Uh, Link comes to mind, even though he has no character. I just like his games. He's, he's good. He's stoic. He's brave. Which Link? Yeah, see now, if we have to choose which Link, then that doesn't even... There's not much to that. Vivi's great. Oh man, I can't answer this question. This is, this is too difficult a question for me to answer. And it's not Rick Deckard for anyone who's curious. I, it is... I like Deckard. I think he's complex and interesting, but not my favorite. By any means. Richter Belmont? No, Richter's cool. I mean, there's so many good characters in video games and movie history that that is actually a really fucking impossible question to answer. Riker? No, and you know what? I like Picard more than Riker. Riker has just got so much charisma because Jonathan Frakes is a charismatic dude. Um, but Data is pretty fucking great, though. Data might be one of my favorite characters of all time. Data will be my favorite character of all time until a couple days from now, when, um, legally distinct Star Trek Picard shows up, trying to make a bunch of outrageous claims. And, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. What is it with Ricks? Cloud? I like Cloud a lot more than most, than many people might remember liking Cloud. Or... I think Cloud gets a bad rap because of Squall. I think Cloud's got a great character arc. I've said it over and over again on the stream, he's pretty great. Original Cloud, yes. Final Fantasy VII, original Cloud. But... Not one of my favorites. I think his design is cool. I think he, he's got a cool sword. What about Red Dead's Arthur? Well, Arthur is one of the most three-dimensional characters I've ever fucking seen in a video game, easily. So that is a good answer. 
that is definitely an answer that I would uh, put up there for sure. Even though the game had um, worn out its welcome a little bit by the end of it, just because I got a little bit of fatigue from it, and um, I was ready for the game to be over, Arthur remained amazing until the very end. I loved Arthur so much, and his voice actor was just so good. Roger. Roger Clark. So, yeah. I mean, you could make the argument he's one of the best characters ever, like, just perfectly fr uh, fleshed out. But, favorites. Well, VV is definitely up there. Frog is definitely up there. Vice from Skies of Arcadia is a lot of fun. Luigi is, is always a classic. I mean, I could choose characters like Banjo-Kazooie just because they're fun. And they are. They're a lot of fun. I love Banjo-Kazooie, but Banjo and Kazooie separately and together. But at the same time, if we're talking purely, you know, characters that have some kind of, like, character arc, that are, you know, written really, really well. I wouldn't put them up there. Silvando's pretty great. I love Silvando. I ended up becoming a huge Eric fan. I mean, I was always... I thought Eric was great in Dragon Quest XI, but Eric, by the end, I really like his character arc. I like his, his uh, side plot. And I really, um... I think he's got a wacky voice that's just so fucking likable to listen to. Barrett in Final Fantasy VII. I, I've always said this, but add Barrett to any game, it's instantly better. He's got... I mean, I'm wondering how they're gonna handle him in the remake. But he's got, like, a real character progression. He's a tough guy, he's got a heart of gold. He's fucking hilarious, he's foul-mouthed, he cares about the stuff he believes in, in the way that you actually want to follow him into battle. And he's also a great character in-game, he's one of my, my, um, I almost always go for a Barret Cloud party composition. Um, I'm gonna kill this tomato man. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the tomato man just because I want the experience. I mean, if you're talking about, like, video game tropes, Final Fantasy VII has a ton of them. There's a lot of tropey, edgy characters. Look at Vincent. What the fuck is Vincent's character? At least Barrett has, um... You know, the stuff with Dine and his past. It keeps him interesting. Yuffie is just, like, energetic and wacky and bubbly. And so is, like, Selfie from Final Fantasy VIII. Sorry, Yuffie. Meanwhile, um, I think... Rude and Song... ...from Final Fantasy VII... And, um, the other one, Reno, are fucking awesome. They're, they're just such a great cast of side characters in Final Fantasy VII. Reno's great, yeah. They're all great. Who are you? Who there? Where are you from? Well, we came from the laboratories to the west. What? Hey, we've got people here who crossed the ruins! Say again? You're joking. So there are people who can beat up those freaky mutants. Daddy's gonna bring us some food. My husband went down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Did you really come from the dome to the west? Yes. I see. Well, not that I really care. 
<laughs> Pardon me, I'm Doan. I'm the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and a storage center for food. Oh, we can't get through because of the robot guards. That's a pity. There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. It's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. What's Irvine's character from Final Fantasy VIII? Does anyone remember? Was it, wasn't it just Cowboy? I'm pretty sure it was just here comes the Cowboy. The door with the crest? Dynamite won't budget. Do you have any money? You sure this is money? Oh, well I have to lighten my inventory anyway. It's Mallow. It's a child shopkeeper, it's so fucking weird. Save money, it'll do you good. That's what the guy who walked to the other dorm used to say. Are you going down below? Of course. But no one's ever returned from there. Gotta try it, right? It's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Oh, careful now, come back alive. So what the fuck happened to this future? That's the real question. This console controls the passageway. We need a password to get through. This console control, All right, we need a password. Disney, <laughs> someone said Disney. Looks like a statue. A memo is attached to it. Warning. Anyone within vic vicinity of the stock room will be attacked. <laughs> Executing program. Chrono, what's going on? Marl, let's go. Let's just use these swords to beat up these giant metal robots. We got this. One HP! I don't think- Oh! Well, line of sight! There we go. Marl's gonna heal up. Slightly better than a potion at this point. Yeah, oh, nice. You never beat Gato. Oh, nice there! I'm gonna have to go back to Gato. Oh, you're right. You're right. I was gonna do that when I got back to a thousand AD. I, I didn't do it. It's not necessary, but I will eventually do it.
Brace for impact. We're, there's no way we're getting a one cycle. Revives the bit. speedrun of this game is amazing. I watched a little bit of this year's speedrun, but I gotta be honest, didn't catch the whole thing. But watching someone menu through this game with a voice crack, with um, the way they can menu through this and, and select things so quickly blows my mind. Someone chat just said, move on, next bit. It's good, I like that chat member, that was really good. Um, an accident. Did the boot emote get posted yet? No, not yet. That's a different boot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's, uh, Frankerface. There is a vine sleep with a Santa hat. <laughs> that was totally unnecessary. So I just removed that one. So hopefully the, uh... ...will be posted soon. It will- it has to be approved that it's not just a, a pair of Robertsons or Richardson. Got it. Better Twitch TV recently expanded everyone's emote slot, so you now have 30 slots in Better Twitch TV. Are you serious? Oh my god. I have to check that out. Yep. It's true. Okay, everybody. Artists, what did we say the other night? We need... So, Vine Boot is on the way. That's really great. And you can animate them. That's exciting. What was the other one that we were talking about? Uh, maybe a Ringo? Vine Cro... We could get a, a Chrono emote or a Frog emote if you want for a temporary. Oh, right, a Yoda. Vine Crush. We need a, a decent Vine Crush that isn't just the Lego, uh, Yoda. Yeah, baby. Kermit. We might not need a Kermit. Well, if anyone here wants to make some emotes, if not, that's cool. Whatever. We got some old ones that are pretty cool, too. But, uh, I'd be down for some more emotes for better Twitch TV. If you want to make an animated one, go for it. All right. Six hundred emotes with 30 emotes. Whew, something reeks. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Chrono, look. Passed away long ago, I suppose. It's holding something. What do you suppose this is? Looks like some kind of seed. A seed. Do you think... Do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? The following is written on a soiled sheet of paper. The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. Imagine that being the last thing you ever write. That there's a fucking talking rat.
Got it. Squeak, I give up. I'll tell you everything, Squeak. Press and hold the L and R button, and then press A button to access the secret passage, Squeak. Don't make any mistakes, or you'll be sorry. It's my attempt at a at a at a Rizzo impression. Could go back up, but I don't want to. I don't want to go back up just yet. I'm just gonna keep moving. It's nice to know even in the future they have treasure chests lying about. You never know. You never know when someone's gonna be... Whoa! What is going on with my voice lately, huh? Chat, did you do this? Which of you put the curse on me? You, but you never... You really never know. One day, someone in the future... could possibly... Go in there. Vinny, do you remember that tea? Vinny, do you take vitamins? I do. What tea? They could go in there, chat. Listen. They could go in the treasure chest. <laughs> you never know. In the future, someone might show up, which is why you need to store your item in a treasure chest in the middle of a room. That's all I'm saying. You're doing a favor for the future, not for yourself, when you store things in a treasure chest. Vinny, it's probably a toolbox. Alright, we'll ruin my bit. I voice cracked for that. You know, tool spelled backwards is loot. Just saying. And loot rhymes with boot. Vinny, is there a thing for emote sizes? Um... Yeah, you should just be able to Google, uh, Twitch emote sizes, and that'll help. Let's see, partner... Um, I can give you the emote sizes verbally right now. So you need three sizes. You need... ...28... ...56... ...and 112. What, 28 by 28? 56, and then double that, and then double that. What are the three sizes for, anyway? I think the three sizes are specifically for, um... ...mobile. Everywhere's a crit. I never fucking knew that this would happen. Chat, this is another Chrono Trigger first. This game is 25 years old almost. And I had no idea that these robots would go around you if you just stood still. That's two in one day. Two new things in one day. 
They just, they don't want to fight. That's amazing, I had no idea. I can't open this, but... It's a game flaw, most of the enemies do that. Interesting. Doesn't every mob that patrols do that if you just stand still? Cool. Well, I mean, that might be something I've known. Clat, uh... Clat claims that you said that about the robots last time, too. Clip where it didn't happen. So this is the info center. Good. The computer's still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gate. This is kind of like if someone from 1983 started using a modern computer. Yeah, I can't stop the Kraken. I don't know what's going on. East of Aristome. I didn't drink my nightly tea, that might- might have something to do with it. During the break, I'm gonna need some of that shit. That will be Protodome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. Say, what does this button do? 1999 AD. Visual record of the Day of Lavos? Is that... Lavos. Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No. No way! I refuse to believe it! This... This can't be the way the world ends. Oh no. There's only one thing we can do. We must change history, just like Chrono did when he saved me. Okay, Luca? Okay, Chrono? Luca's response is the best. I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Chrono, let's go. No. Come on, show Marl what you're made of. Yeah. Chrono, Luca, together we can do this. Let's all take a second and do some more research on Lavos' activities back in our own time period. Next stop, Protodome. And now we know what we're up against. And that's why the future is such shit. Because of a giant fucking porcupine fire cockroach porcupine that destroyed everything. By the way, someone in chat said this would have fucked me up if I saw this as a kid. It really, really did have that effect on me. Like, even though it's just pixels, <laughs> it's something about the concept of the end of the world in that way really kind of bugged me out. And I was... 10 or I was like 11 when I played this game for the first time and that was the perfect age to just absorb all this and to be like you know like I was really into sci-fi anyway so the fact that this game had sci-fi and medieval shit and the fact that it had the end of the world good stuff 
the other part of it is too, like, it was 1999, and when I played this game it was 1995. I'm not gonna say I didn't shit my pants a little bit thinking the world was gonna end in some way in 1999, but I might have. I, I might have had it in the back of my mind, like, oh, that's only a couple years away. And then Y2K happened, and we've been in a parallel dimension ever since. This is another uh, video game trope I really like, which is the heroic music continues to play while you're fighting. It's a very simple but effective game mechanic. It's a good tool. We're in the Berenstain Bears dimension. We diverged from the Berenstain Bears dimension about 20 years ago. Oh god, again with the Stain Steen. I remember it being Berenstain Bears. Not Steen or Stain. Stein. So that's, what is that, a third dimension? You're back. Well, what did you discover? This is our future. Who cares? Where's the food? This is all we could get. Seeds? You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope have to stay alive, and so do we. Ah. Huh. You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. <laughs> Heal, sigh. It's got a nice ring to it. We'll try growing the seeds. What are those? It just might be our future. Heading for the Protodome? Go by way of Laboratory 32 and take this with you. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. I hope it still works. Got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. I just love that you just push that person out of the way. Lips. When was the last time you had that dream where all your teeth start cracking and falling out? Probably about... Two or three months ago? I had a weird dream about Coney Island, but it was like kind of a paradise instead of shit. And uh, it was a really scary dream. I had to like wake myself up from it. And uh, it wasn't because of crack or anything like that. It was more... I was at Coney Island, and it was this weird facility. Like a series of, of, like, buildings. And in one of them, there was a fortune teller who sold, like, a bunch of, like, New Age stuff. And she recognized me for some reason. I guess I had been there at some point previously. And things were going good, but then she called spirits upon me. And I was being chased by fucking ghosts. And they were scary, like, not, like, apparitions, but, like, actually, like, fucking terrifying ghosts. With claws and... The music is perfect for this. Bandit, must report to Sir Crawley!
but yeah, I was being chased around this place, whereas it was just this feeling of at first when I was there, and it was this big wide open facility with lots of long hallways and lots of um, sunlight and, and like plants and it was like kind of there was like palm trees and stuff and it was very bright and then after the fortune teller incident and I don't remember the specifics of it uh yeah it went dark it got like dark and I started feeling like did you ever feel like something was watching you or chasing you it was just this intense paranoia it was bad there was a bridge here I saw it ribbit oh Ribbit, there's nothing here now. But it's true, Ribbit. So much coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. That box, that treasure chest, always reminded me of like a McDonald's carton. For, like chicken nuggets. These are just like rotten eggs. They're like rotten Easter eggs, these enemies, and I never piece that together. I also had a weird dream I was working, not recently, but I had a... So that dream, yeah, I woke up, I forcibly woke myself up. But I also had a very strange dream about, like... Working... At some giant mall complex food court. It was so fucking weird, like, pointless dreams, but... It had, like, statues of dwarves in it. <laughs> like, these massive dwarven statues, like Ironforge. I don't know. This is a tad on the spooky side. This is an eerie place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Alright, Luke. There's a diary here. Here's the last page. It's all over. The fishermen attack if I make even the slightest noise. I'd rather have my gums scraped than to have to fight these fiends. Probably said this four years ago, but that was a hell of a concept to introduce to an 11-year-old. Gum scraping. Oh, look, it's a cute cat! Nope, we're not doing this bit again. All right, just once. Get the secret cat party member. How do you do that? Is it a jellical cat by chance? Oh, I should I should show you guys provoke. Look at this move that Marl has. It almost never fucking works, so I'm wondering if I'm even doing something right. Trying to add this cat to my party is like chasing the dragon. You know the one. But yeah, that cat, um... I would frequently go back to it over and over and over again. <laughs> Too old for this shit. As Riggs would say. This is, um, wait, which one was Danny Glover? In Lethal Weapon. Riggs, okay. Murtaugh, that was Murtaugh? Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, that can, you kick the can into the bucket. Enemies. Cheese? Nice cheese? Nope. Enemies. Save point even? Nope. Enemies. 
all this shit down here? Bullshit. It is, it's the Jape Zone, that's right, all of it. Vinny, it was Japes. Do you remember this piece of art for the cat? Oh god, yes I do! Hang on a second. Check this out, this was made by Ozkai, who I... I think still, like, makes art for the stream. February 23rd, 2016. Full year ago, just about. But this is done in this classic Chrono Trigger style. Like the poster. I found my old Chrono Trigger poster. I think I might have mentioned this, but I was digging through some stuff and I found it. And, uh, it's in pretty okay condition. Twenty sixteen was a year ago, right, chat? I totally didn't say one year ago, did I? Well, it's time to put Vinny in the home. Press the switch, and the bridge opens, ribbit! So switch on, ribbit! Ribbit! It's out of reach, Ribbit! And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit, Ribbit? Someone's coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. Babby tutorial frogs. Rage band again. Enrages user 50% counter rate. That is a good item. I'm gonna put that on Chrono. Three of them are almost here! Coming through the sewer like they own it, they must have a death wish! We'll teach them a lesson. Let's show them, here. <laughs> Whoa, just let them come through here! They'll be chopped liver! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> the guard just leaves. Huh? Damn it, that never works. No, attack Chrono! Isn't he from the box art? Yeah, the box art in this game was a little confusing, to say the least. Because it was from an unfinished area from the beta of the game. It was a screenshot that never made it to the final product. And it, it's like, I think it was, was it Crawly or no? No, this isn't the enemy, I'm sorry. This wasn't the enemy. But it was outside in a snowy field, which never happens in the game. We made it up. It never happened. It was the Medina boss, right? Hekran. Sorry, thank you. I don't know. Uh, not so smart. Box art also has Marl using fire magic. The DS version has one. Remind me what happened in the DS version? With the winter area? What was that all about? It's in a bonus dungeon? I don't even remember it. sword that strikes like lightning, the bolt sword. Ah. 
It had the Singing Mountain song, too. So this is Death Peak. I was specifically told not to go here. However, there is a power tab here, so... You are rewarded for your curiosity a little bit. I am pleased you think me worthy, O oh wise one. I await your final program code. Now, don't go getting all emotional on me, critter. Back to work now. Yes, father. Shala, I've missed you so. No, you must not climb Death Peak. Wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time. And they have to show you the way. Say, did you see my masterpieces, the Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both. I think this dude's losing his mind. He's a little... He's a little nutty. Can't go through that door. It's a little weird scene that will make sense at some point. So remember it. Otherwise, this sewer was totally optional. Mostly just for some experience, some good times, and the bolt sword a little earlier. Oh, and the Rage Band. The Rage Band is good. Yeah, Rage uh, against the machine is great. Absolutely. Hold it right there. It's... the man! <laughs> like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man! You lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up, part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe! You know how to ride? Yes. The man rides like a roller coaster. Winning does that to Johnny's hair. Hey, looks like you have a neat gadget there. Ask RX XR how to use it. Where's RX XR exactly? Okay. Can you fight him in this version? Yep. I don't know where or when, but we'll find out. Oh, this is mental. Graphics will never get better than this, ever. I used one boost. One single boost at the last second. That's all you gotta do. You... you beat me? I don't get it. Yeah, you can challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. 
There it is. There's RXXR. Greetings, life forms. I am RXXR, the log keeper. I'll record your three fastest times. There are two ways to race, Johnny. Which do you prefer? L and R change perspective. Go find out what that race log item is replaced by. What do you mean? Also, L and R are replacing perspective, or changing perspective. I always wondered how to do that. I always forgot how to do that. The chest between the areas is still there. Oh, right, 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 right. Thank you. Yeah, if you don't race him, you could just do this. I forgot that the log, you don't get naturally over there, right? Like, you get it here. I see a lot of people in chat didn't know this. Yep. It's, a, again, one of those little things that you find out years later. Like, this I probably discovered on my third playthrough. Seraph song? It's, um... Can you hear the angels? What the fuck is this? Okay, well that's a new item for the plus version. change perspective. How come the perspective ain't changing, chat? It restores MP during battle. LNR change perspective. Yeah, I'm pressing LNR. Oh, you only mode 2 has that? Okay. Please. Seraph song is available via replay codes only, usually. Interesting. Yeah, 15. I just made a robot depressed for the second time in the past month. Oh, well, third, if you count me making fun of, um, Marty from Stop and Shop. Nice, nice. trigger unused items. Let's see. So unused items, there's the dark saber. It's a weapon for Chrono. Seraph Song is an accessory which gradually restores MP while equipped. It would have been rather useful, but given the gold stud reduces your MP cost to such a high degree that MP restoration is rather trivial, this is probably rendered unnecessary. It's probably really good in this, you know, early game. Um, there's a couple other ones too, like a Pico Magnum. 
uh, shitty weapon for Luca and a Gratis for Luca. If it hits the targets, HP is halved. Doesn't seem to work very well. Obviously would have wouldn't have worked at all on bosses. It was likely deemed too gimmicky to keep. Huh. Please. There's a lot of cut content in this game, which is why I think a plus version is really nice. Again, I'm willing to forgive the Cult of Lavos um, enemies killing me in one hit because, you know, you get to go in, you see it, okay, enemies are too hard, you leave. It would have been nice to have a message or some character saying, hey, this is a, you know, you, you shouldn't be here, or an item. But so far, the idea that cut content is in this game, I think is a very good thing. Just as an optional way to play it, just to see what some of this, these items do. A dead, a dead body with a note on it would be nice, sure. Robert. Oh, what's this thing? It's in bad shape. But it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible. I think I can fix it. What? It might attack us. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. God, now it's the Mandalorian. Luca, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? What's this robot's name? Fight. Right, that does it. I'm gonna give it some juice. She just pours orange juice into the vents. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Good morning. Mo. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I'm Marl. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. Understood. Madame Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible, that would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marl? Hate him. I understand, Luca. All right, now what's your name? Fine. Name? Ah, my serial number. It is R66Y. R66Y, cool. No, that won't do it all. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. Robo. Robo, that's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? I, I usually just name him, not usually, but I've done it in the past to be a jerk. R66Y. Default names across the board, chat. That's the way it's gonna be. It's like renaming, um... Garnet back to Garnet in Final Fantasy IX. I am Robo. Data storage complete. 
Hey, Robo, why aren't there more people here? Hey, Alexa, why aren't there more people here? I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What? What has happened here? There were many humans, and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. How many Alexas did I activate? Because mine went off. Twitch sent me one. They sent me a, a thing because, um... For Christmas, as a Christmas present, I set it up recently. And I have it in the other room. Yeah, I wanted to test it out. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on, but this is just a couple days ago I got it. So, uh... Bezos now has a spy in my house. No, they sent me, I swear to God, they sent me a, a Nerf gun, a shirt, Alexa, not you, not, not you, and, um, what was the other thing? Shoes, Tetris shoes that are, no offense, thank you, Twitch, for the Christmas present, that was very lovely of you. Tetris sneakers that are ugly as sin. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. Show them? Uh, Dave, do you still have that picture? While exploring Aristone, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. The door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate this dome's generator. You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind and open the door while the power's on. Then Marl or I will stay. Um... I keep Marl behind. Just because Luca Robo is an amazing combo. Uh, I and I love Marl, make no mistake, she's great. But how can you I mean it's Luca. It's a video No 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 the shoes, Dave. The the shoes. Speaking of shoes, real quick, just to interrupt the stream for a moment, um, I'm also going to probably put the kibosh on this for now for a, <laughs> for a second, so I can uh, stream Slay the Spire. Like, we've reached a good progress point, I'd say. But Brad Pitt gave this um, speech at the SAG Awards. I want to thank my co-stars, Leo, Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie's feet, Margaret Quali's feet, Dakota Fanning's feet. Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. The fucking legend. And Quentin was in the audience. He just straight up... He just straight up fucking... It was... Oh, God, Brad Pitt is going... Uh, he, like, I really liked him before as a person, just from his podcast on Marin, but I, I would love to have a drink with that dude. Alright, listen, some people probably like these. I don't wear sneakers. I might wear them one day, one time. Someone might enjoy them. I consider them ugly as sin because I already don't wear sneakers. And, um, there's, like, these big fucking orbs on them. Someone said they don't look that bad. Fair enough. Okay, I exaggerated. I, I apologize, chat. I think I went a little far with my exaggeration there, but... I don't understand these, these strange, like... ...things. Um... 
But yeah, I don't I don't think at my age I'd be wearing shoes like this. I I'm grateful, make no mistake, I'm really happy that Twitch wants to keep me on their platform. It's very, very sweet of them. And uh, Alexa is really kind of dumb. Not you, Shh. no! And uh, she doesn't do much. It's like I can order stuff. I can listen to a couple things, maybe some music. I can do Alexa, sing me a song, and she'll do that. Um, and I can also maybe what else can I do? I set an alarm. That's about it. A couple other little things, but nothing. It's, it's nothing amazing. You can call her computer. Computer. Set alarm for 1600. Hi, I was getting so bored. May I take Lucas' place? No. Okay, I'll wait here. Well, I like Marl because she's- she's very positive. Marl is like... Um... A less annoying version of, like, bubbly selfie. Override security systems. I mean, Luca is just amazing, but I think Marl's pretty great. Um, yeah, you can use the emote form, however you want to send me the emotes. I'd say it's easier for me to get them through the emote form just because I can, uh, scroll through them. That said, I can also... Oh, fuck, the door locked. Okay, we'll- we'll get to the first save point. Forgot about that bit. Um... There's a safe point in the lab area. Woolsey had a month to translate it. Yeah, here's a safe point. We'll save here. I love this music. This this area is a little tedious, barely, but um, I love the music so much I don't even really care. So this is gonna be a fun next couple streams. And we got a robot. Robo is fucking awesome. When I'm not lying when I say Chrono Trigger has my favorite casts of all time in video games. You get a robot, Unga Bunga. You get an edgelord. You get a frog with a sword. You get a fucking super genius, amazing everything. And and Marl. And Chrono is just Goku with a, with a fucking katana. It's great. Someone said, I, th I thought it was simply, was your favorite video game. No, it is, but it also has my favorite RPG cast of all time. Because they're just great characters, they're all very different. Um, they have double text, triple text, so they work with each other well. And... I think they're written really... It's not the most complex RPG, they don't have the most complex character development. But it's done, I think, very well. And we'll see, did a pretty good job for having only a month to localize this. So... I could just go on and on about this game, but instead, I'll, I will save it for a couple days from now, and then we can talk more about Chrono Trigger, because, because that's what I'm playing this for, so we can talk about Chrono Trigger. Someone just posted this in chat, and I kind of want Alexa to destroy. Alexa, destroy Smooth Kong! She didn't say anything. Alright, uh, everybody, we're gonna take a quick break. Thank you for watching Chrono Trigger. Slay the Spire is up next. Again, I get it, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Speaking of, I'll be making a new one <laughs> over the break. But, um, I am very excited to play it again because I learned how to play the Watcher a little bit better. And I had a really amazing broken uh, run with the Watcher. 
and it's good. So we'll do that for a bit. Kirby will be tomorrow, and I'll have some other bonus streams this week, including dreams as well. But for now, I want to do um, my one Slay the Spire stream this week. So stick around if you so choose, and I will return the rainbow connection. We'll, we're going to play a song that is not Muppets, but here it is. I've played this on stream before, but it, not in the past year, so it's not on my streamed playlist. One of my favorite Kinks songs from one of my favorite Kinks albums that not a lot of people know about or talk about. It's their 1977 record, Sleepwalker. Not one of their famous records, no big hits on it, but it's just got so many good songs on it. And this is such a great fucking song, so check it out. Stormy Sky. What an underrated band. They do not get the credit they deserve because, you know, here in the U.S. especially, we know a couple of their songs. We know Lola, You Really Got Me, All Day and All Night. 
There's a couple songs that are popular here, but they're more revered overseas in England, and they deserve it because they're they're great. And wait, they're on tour. What the fuck? They have a show, a oh, sold out show in New York on the twenty sixth. Oh no. Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh, I would have loved to see Ray Day. Anyway, I was going to say that song, I love the way it's mixed. Like, I love the production on that song so much. The whole album, but that song in particular. Love the way the drums sound. I don't think Ray's voice has ever sounded better on a Kink song. Like, Dave's guitar stuff is perfect and complements the song nicely. The tone is immaculate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me add it to my playlist. But if you're wondering, I have um, a playlist that sadly does not work with the Twitch extension because I don't think they ever fucking fixed it. But it's called Streamed, and if you look for the Red Vox channel on Spotify and you scroll all the way down, you'll see two playlists. Vine's Sauce, which I don't update, it's just some of my favorites of all time. And Streamed is every song I play during BRBs in reverse order, basically. So if you ever want to know what songs I'm playing, that's the best way to do it. Okay, just a second. Almost ready. Almost ready. Are the art segment playlists public? They are, yes. They're changed constantly. They're always being updated. Um, if you want, I can link them later during the art segment. Also, Sven Co-op just got an update. It's fucking wacky. I think it's just bug fixes. I think it might be time to play some Sven Co-op again. Again, good thing I upgraded this computer. I wouldn't be able to run Sven Co-op without it. So the previous tea was garbage. This tea is the honey vanilla chamomile. Chamomile, whatever. And it's, it's my favorite so far, I think. So I go from the worst to the best. Yeah, I had this one already, and it's very good. Alright, so welcome to Slay the Spire yet again. And I have learned how to use the new character a little bit better. I had a really broken run last time I played this game, and I still died because of just stupidity, and, and because something exploded and took 40. We're not gonna go for it. Yeah, we'll go for this. Oh no! Oh no, what have I done? Ragnarok! Explosive potion! What am I going to do with this potion? Uh, I can do an eruption into a smite, but that's probably not going to work. 15 damage into 12 damage. No, you, you shouldn't be using skills for this monster, I'm aware of that. We're doing it now. Six HP.
All right, well, it's been a night. It's definitely been a fun night. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, it's time to stop. It's time to put the game down and to go to bed. I'll show you Kermit war crimes now. Even though it's not Kermit. What? War crimes. <laughs> this is not, it's not war you crimes. Have a cup of Wilkins coffee? No, I don't like coffee. What? Like, it's perfectly cut, too. Look at that. Care for a cup of Wilkins coffee? No, I don't like coffee. Are you kidding me? We're here to persuade people to drink more Wilkins coffee. What's the club for? <laughs> you getting on the Wilkins coffee bandwagon? Never. <laughs> if you don't drink Wilkins coffee, you're not all there. Oh, that's a lot of... Gone. Reduced to atoms. Oh, my God. Okay, let's edit it a bit. You know, people who don't drink Wilkins coffee just blow up sometimes. Oh, that's a lot of... Okay, it's edited. They're not perfectly cut. This machine will make you want a cup of Wilkins coffee. Not me. Oh. Apparently, Kermit already existed by this point. Do you drink Wilkins coffee? No. Boy, this hammer reminds me of Wilkins coffee. Why? Because it always fits a spot. <laughs> Why are we climbing this tree? For Wilkins coffee. I don't want any. Wow. I've got five aces. Can you beat that? I've got a can of Wilkins coffee. <laughs> okay, buddy, what do you think? Hang on, I want to see that one again. I've got a can of Wilkins coffee. It's unrelated. Like, for no reason he shoots him in the fucking head with a pistol. I've got five aces. Can you beat that? I've got a can of Wilkins coffee. But what? Okay, buddy, what do you think of Oh, because he's coffee? losing. Yeah. I never tasted it. Now, what do you think of Wilkins? Oh, my God. Well, yeah. If you haven't seen it, I mean, we were talking about doing... I was going to oh show God. you... Even though you've probably already seen this chat, and this is literally just us watching videos at this point, but... Oh, my God. The uh, Gordon Ramsay cartoons that we didn't see or that I didn't show you. I guess specifically from Zico. I might not have seen this last one. Let me let me see. I'm gonna download it and show you. So I'm pretty sure I saw the lamb sauce one, and that's the one I'm going to show you now. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I did. The duck's bad! Yeah. You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! <laughs> oh my god, leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Just fucking leave it! You're going to blow fire in your face, you fucking donkey! He brings that pissing over. It's just poop. And the big surprise is the fucking bass is fucking raw! Yeah. Yep. What the fuck is going on? Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a This the lamb Where's sauce? Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> right here, Chef. <laughs> yeah, that was the first one that Zico did, and then this is the most recent one. I don't know if I might have seen this one, I'm not sure. Again. I've had enough. Okay? He's already shirtless. Enough for me. I've had enough. Enough! And I still haven't got a lamb out yes, from sir. the red team! Yes, sir. Now it's turning into being a fucking big embarrassment! Have Was one of the dudes on the red team taking a shit the red team. into a pot? Yep. Yes, sir. Now it's turning into being a fucking And one big was dying. Yes, sir. I'm gonna kick Two were dying. Now, unless you get me a fucking lamb! How long, please? How long, please? Well, I'm coming right now, Chef. What is going on? Are you fucking blind? No, sir. 
clean your fucking glasses. I'll ask you a question again. Yeah, let's do it this way. Clean your fucking glasses! All right, Jeff. Look at this! Look! 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 What the fuck is this? Just what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Fucking useless. Sorry, Chef. Yeah, do me a favour. Yes, yeah, Chef. Take that off and fuck it off out of here. Get out! <laughs> hey, you! Leave the jacket <laughs> and get out! It was just like a brain. Get out! Give me the jacket. I'm giving you. Give me the it's fucking jacket. Three mouths. Fucking useless sack of shit. Just get out! Dead. Get out! This is wrong! Oh, my fuck God. Jesus. This is wrong! <laughs> it's just wrong! It's fucked! Fuck off back there! Get out! Yes! Get fucked! By the <laughs> shit! <laughs> I haven't seen this one! That was it, huh? It was just too much for him. What's happening? <laughs> He's an elder god at this point. Oh my god. That's Zico with three E's. There's other good cartoons on there I have to watch at some point. Okay. I think I've laughed myself into uh, into a stupor, so it's time for me to go. It's good. Would you I just got linked several others. Ah! No. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, let's... Like salt and pepper, chef? No, thank you, darling. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You just check it out in chat. Whew. Okay, after all that we've been through tonight, we can wind down with some Mother 3 art and some art. <laughs> Mother 3 music and some art. <laughs> Here's one from HB190. And, uh... Vinny the Saucer wielding his trusty meat rod, wearing signature robes and hat. Surrounded by mysterious corruption magics. It's <laughs> cool. Here's one from Blue Axolotl. It says here, hello Vinny, I made this using only a GameCube controller and speech, Windows 7 speech recognition. It took me roughly five minutes to write this using Windows 7 speech recognition. I switched over to my phone and copy and pasted because I don't have a mouse or keyboard hooked up into my computer. What? Cool. There's a, um, I don't know. Hello Vinny. I don't know if you're watching this, but I just want to check, I just want to show you here, 20 times. He rotated it, it spins. Alright, thank you for the art. Appreciate it. Kamatovsky made this. Don't, oh no. I, nice Kermit. Um, yeah. I mean, to be fair, poor Kermit took it real hard. You know. 
it was just too much. He wanted Dante so bad, but he got he got that instead. This one's from Salmiaki. Here's where the real fun is, right out here, chat. This is where the magic happens. Dumpsters. Yep, this is Pilot Wing 64 music. It's true, that's where all the fun happens. Think about all the good stuff you can get in a dumpster. Used condoms. Raw lamb. This one's from Palchuk2423. I like that. It's a unique little piece of art. Nicely done. Like those shrooms. Jerge made this one with Luca. That's a good interpretation of Luca. I mean, I'm not complaining. Also, I just realized she's kind of wearing what Hero wears from Dragon Quest XI, but just slight, like a different color palette and slightly different. The Toriyama. <laughs> Wait, do you mean Toriyama recycles designs? No, I didn't I didn't say that. No. Yeah, that's really cool though. Um so someone just took a screenshot of the, of the top streams for Slay the Spire and and there I am in the top left with Wilkins coffee. Here's one from Cicero the King. They're like, wow, when did this get added to Slay the Spire? This is Joel and I in Animal Crossing form. This is nice. This makes me more excited for more uh, Animal Crossing streams coming up soon. When New Horizons releases. I only worry that it's maybe... A little too... Like, I hope there's enough improvement... You know, like, I, I really hope there's enough new stuff to keep me interested for a long time, because it does look very similar to New Leaf. And I know there's a lot. They delayed it, and I know that, you know, there's voice cracks and scoots and ducks and stuff. So I'm excited for it regardless, but I, I hope there's a lot of stuff we don't even know about that's in the game. So here's one from Miss Vendetta. And it's a different take on Kermit. Slightly. Very nice. I like this art style. This is perfect for Kermit. It's very old school. When you don't know what something is, just say old school. It's a catch-all. My How Boom Mike made this. Yeah, Colonel, I have to read a comic. That's an interesting gun you've got there. This is an evoker. You put it to your head and pull the trigger. People use to use these to awaken their personas. Okay, I think I understand. No, wait, Snake, you can't just use a normal gun. Game over. Shit, I can't believe Snake is dead. <laughs> Here's one from Fat Ninja Baby's producer. It's the Ringles. Me and the boys joining the Ringles. You know, we were just a band. Just a little band. We played the, the instruments, you know? That's good. Thank you for that. Here's one from not my username, and this is art for the game I streamed yesterday, Yodoma Globula, which is, if you missed it, very interesting game from the Proc Gem. It's a bunch of proctologists got together and played their musical instruments, and a game was formed. Here's some art for Chrono Trigger. Perfect, by the way. Good timing, Rusteri. You knew exactly when I'd start getting into the Chrono Trigger art. So, good job on, on that. Um, but... Cordelier made this. 
am I a little monkey fella? And that's Ayla, who the, you know, stream hasn't met yet, and Frog. Very nice. My Haobu Mike made this. Hey guys, it's me, Turbo, from the hit sequel game Chrono Continuum. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like that game. That Chrono Continuum. So this is a BRB from Wii 2. There's a better version. But I'll download it and add it to the file. To the folder. Wow. That's now that is quality. Really appreciate that, BRB. Thank you. Here's one from Busy Buck. Chronosauce. Time Spins. Chat, there's no good answer, but I'm trying to get it right. I did. Is that right? Now that's the script. You can see the script, though. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Chat, there's no good answer, but I'm trying to get it right. I did. Is that right? If I said that, ex did I say that exact same thing? I don't even know if I said that, but I mean, it's in the script. Faldin made this. Gay Aller, the g the jailer, the gay Oler. I see what you did there. That's good. The gay Oler. I see because I mispronounced it. Reminds me of that one time in Castlevania Portrait of Ruin when Charlotte would say, Gay old horse! So that was good memories. Thank you for this. Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte. Sorry. Uh, Nine Idiot made this. This Goku. Very good, Goku, you got there. <laughs> good job. Donkey Spittle made this. Hi. <laughs> I give up. The mouse had Sakurai's hand flipping us off. I did. But yeah, this is great. Good we get a little bit of Muppet on the stream. There, there might be more Muppets on the stream at some point. There's some more Muppet games I'd be willing to check out in a future stream. Uh, Death Metal Alley made this Professor Luca's giant glasses. Hey, hey, Chrono, it's me, Luca. Good news, everyone. I've invented a telepod. I... Golden Newt, <laughs> Golden Newt made this the mini show. Oh, I see, in the style of Ricky, Steve, and Carl. Nice. Nox Materi made this. It's a Kermit emote. I mean, that's pretty cool. That could work. I mean, we have more emote slots now, so why don't you submit that? No, you should definitely submit it. Maybe you could, you could probably tighten it up a little tiny bit in its smallest form. Um, but I'm... No, you don't want to submit it? Alright, if you don't want to submit it, I think chat wants you to submit it, and so do I. But if you don't want to, that's fine. Crusader Lad made this. It says here, completely indecipherable by none but the most deep and far gone vine sauce viewer there's no context for that whatsoever that's like a meme with on, on top of them it's a hat on a hat so crusader lad made this is the the dream i had of the ghosts
Yeah, the Coney Island ghosts that were chasing me. It was even scarier than this, if you can believe it. Umbrella Muffin made this. Sorry, pal. Pot's not legal in New York. Yeah. <laughs> it's me refusing to use that damn potion. And Single Polygon made this. I've corrupted your beloved character, Vinny. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> this is cursed. So this is a nice redo or cover of the uh, Minish Town, Minish Cap Hyrule Town. Oh, fuck. Just as I say that, I close it by accident. And back. All right, that's it. Um, nothing, you know, really new to say except, oh, I'm going to the Game Awards in New York tomorrow because I'm a fucking dummy. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know how long that's going to last for. I don't know if I'll be back. I'll probably stream a little early tomorrow. And that way I can just, you know, go to the thing. Maybe and uh, not have to worry about coming back anytime soon for streaming. I'm not sure yet, but I might stream. I don't know how much Dragon Quest I have, but I'm thinking about finishing it, like I said, on stream. I don't know if that would be like two hours or more, less, but that's, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, but I'm not taking the day off. I'm definitely gonna stream at some point. I just have to figure out like, what my timing is going to be like on that. Uh... <coughs> invite Reggie to join the team. Nope. Reggie's worse at video games than I am, if you can believe it. Alright, good night everybody, thank you again. And I will see you tomorrow in some fashion. Thank you all for watching. I feel like tonight was... I, I kind of lost steam pretty quickly later on. But it was enjoyable. I hope uh, hope some Slay the Spire was, was enough to keep you awake for a little bit at least. Good night. I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. And if you want to watch some other streamers, twitch.tv slash team slash vinesauce or vinesauce.com, as you know. Take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves, and see you next time. Good night.